Please welcome Dita Tsetsche, Chairman of the Board of Management of Daimler AG and Head of Mercedes-Benz Cars. This means that in every Mercedes model series, we are going to offer our customers at least one electrified alternative, from compact cars to large SUVs. Our plans include more than 50 electrified vehicle variants. In the case of the Smart, we'll even go beyond that. We are planning to switch our Smart brand completely to electric drives in Europe and North America by the year 2020. This will make Smart the first combustion brand to be completely switched to pure electric drives. And after Europe and North America, the rest of the world will follow. All of this goes to show that the inventor of the automobile is reinventing himself, and we are doing this coming from a strong position. In terms of sales, we just celebrated the 54th record month in a row in August. At the same time, a return of sales of 10.2% in the second quarter indicates that our growth continues to be profitable. And this is the basis for future massive investments. Since 2014 alone, our R&D expenses have grown by 65 percent since 2014 to 6.6 .6 billion euros. A central pillar of the success is the S-Class. In 2016, the S-Class was once more the best-selling luxury saloon worldwide. To make sure that this won't change in 2017 and beyond, we have made considerable improvements in all areas. Today, we will introduce three new S-Class variants to you. The first will seem familiar to you as far as the exterior is concerned. But in this case, it is not about what you can see, but about what you can hear. We will now get to the most silent and most efficient way of driving an S-Class. And this, in turn, goes along with the most emotional way of driving an S-Class. Coming up is our new Mercedes S-Class plug-in hybrid generation, together with the new S-Class Coupe and the new S-Class Convertible. Ladies and gentlemen, the S560E is the new flagship in our plug-in hybrid portfolio. For this reason, it is the first standard vehicle made by us that is given the EQ Power label. Thanks to the newest generation of batteries, 
from our own plant in Saxony, we have been able to increase its, its electric range to up to 50 kilometers. It is particularly this vehicle that emphasizes that at Mercedes, the transformation towards emission-free driving already began long ago. This is important to me, as trust has doubtless been lost in the public discussion over the last few months. Trust in the power of innovation and sustainability of the German automotive industry. And believe me when I'm saying that I do regret this very much. Now it is up to us to prove that we are part of the solution. And this is what we are. Hybrid cars, for instance, have been part and parcel of our strategy for years. Fully electric cars are, of course, another important part. Hubert Tustroska and Ella Kellen are going to tell us more about this later. And the third and still important part of our future strategy are efficient combustion engines and particularly diesel engines. Banning one of these technologies overnight would be a blow to climate policy from today's perspective. We need all three types of drives in order to achieve a noticeable improvement of the air quality in our cities in the short and medium term and to be continuously able to offer our customers the kind of individual mobility they desire. Irrespective of the engine technology under the bonnet, you can see very nicely how it was possible to make the best car of the world even more exciting. You don't need to add anything, you just leave something out, two doors and a roof, for instance. Efficiency and emotions are, as a matter of course, not enough for the Mercedes S-Class. This is why these three new members of the S-Class family are amongst the most intelligent of all times. With their advanced driver assist systems, they come closer to autonomous driving than ever before. Thanks to the additional usage of high-definition maps, they will help the driver to anticipate even much better what might be ahead of them when driving on the motorway or on country roads. However, the supreme discipline for autonomous driving still is urban traffic. For this reason, we are going to start our project Intelligent World Drive tomorrow. Starting in Frankfurt, we will send a test vehicle based on the new S-Class on a journey all around the world. On five continents, the test car will be faced with complex traffic situations and gain valuable experience. By the example of a smart, we will show you how a completely level 5 autonomous urban car of the future could look.